Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 Hofbergman Explained video. Today, we're going to take a look at the apple orchard that has been added in the 1.5 update and the slight change that has happened to apple trees overall on the map. Currently, we're down here at the community garden. We're going to find that just to the east of the starting farm. And we have four apple trees located here. Now, previously, the apple trees required water and they got water from rain, or you could water the apple trees, and they would then produce apples. You would put a large apple crate under the trees. You would hit R and tell it to fill, but that has changed slightly. Now, in order to water your apple trees, you're gonna to need to use a special water trailer. We're gonna demonstrate that here in a moment, as well as a ladder and a small apple picking bucket. Let's take a look at the shop. And I'll show you what you're going to need to get. So if we come here to the Hoff Bergman under mods and DLCs, we're going to scroll over and we're going to find the ladder for $50. We're going to need, we can configure this to either be a metal ladder or a wooden ladder, but we're going to need a ladder nonetheless. In addition to that, we're going to need several filling apple baskets, or we're going to need a single fillable apple basket and a fillable Apple box. We've now jumped a little bit east and up the hill from the community garden. There you can see our starting farm to the new apple orchard. The apple orchard is located here just south of field 51. It's going to be farmland ID 92 and can be bought for $56,424. Once you own the apple orchard, you're going to be able to come inside the fenced area here. There are several rows of apple trees, as well as a new shed. And within the shed, we have two apple presses. These are going to press our apples into apple juice. We're then going to be able to either sell our apple juice or, what is this? We're going to be able to take our apple juice down to the cider room, which is underneath that shed. And we're gonna be able to produce barrels of apple cider. But it all starts out with us needing to water our apple trees. As I mentioned earlier, previously, the apple trees would get water from rain or you could water the trees directly. Here I have the ABI 550 water trailer. That's going to be found here under the mini agricultural equipment pack that is included with the map. It is the ABI 550. This does need to be updated with the map. There is this pack if you downloaded the map previously, but this is a new item that is with the update. We're going to need to either configure this with respect to liquid transport irrigation sprayer or watering by hand. And this one is pretty darn cool. So this one I have set up as an irrigation sprayer and we have two choices. We can either tip back or we can tip side sprayers. I wanna show you both. So right now we are tipping back. You see a small Piece has been added here, the valve opens, water pours out, and we fill our tree. If we switch this to tip side sprayers, just like we saw in the garden, or the greenhouse video, sorry, we're now going to be able to water both sides of the row at the same time. And then when it's full, no longer needs water, They'll just turn off. That's cool, but not near as neat as watering by hand. So you can either water by hand either solo or with a helper. If you're going to water by hand with a helper, we'll just pull up here. We're going to hit I and well, a guy just magically appears and starts watering the tree. Once 
concentrate is full of water, then he, he just goes away. And you just can repeat this process. But honestly, that's a little silly. Why don't we do it ourselves? We don't need to pay some guy to just show up, water it, and vanish all without any warning. So we're gonna pull up, we're gonna jump out of our tractor, we're coming around here, out around the back, and we're gonna hit E to enter the vehicle. And now we have well, um, a very interesting pose behind the water tanker, but then we hit I, and now we are, well, there we are. Very manly pose there, watering our apple tree. And once it's full, we're gonna hit E to exit the tanker. To pull up to the next tree. Come back here, back to the tanker again. Hit E to enter. I to water. The valve opens on the water tanker. To let water flow out into the hose. And then once it's done, the valve closes. And there we go. That's how we're going to be watering our trees. Once we have apples growing on our trees, though, well, we need to, we need to pick them. And, well, welcome Mr. Ladder. We're gonna need to use a ladder. We're gonna need to use this basket, as I already mentioned. Let's climb the ladder. Once we get up here in the tree, we're gonna hit R to fill. And the basket's gonna hold 31 apples. And once it's full, we're gonna come back down off of a ladder. I just have a Kubota side by side here in order to facilitate transporting all these apple baskets. And we just grab our nest basket, hit R, and we'll start filling it again with apples. Now, of course, just like before, we can sell our apples directly at the bakery, the distillery, the farm shop, the beer parlor, supermarket, or village shop. Once we press our apples into apple juice, we can sell apple juice to the contract filler. Well, this is gonna be bulk apple juice. And then we could process the apple juice at the contract filler and sell that at the supermarket or village shop. But where we're really gonna get our money it's gonna be our apple cider. The cider is gonna be sellable at the church, of course, the beer parlor, supermarket, and village shop. As far as price fluctuations for our cider, we're looking anywhere between $10,752 and $9,024. Our packaged apple juice from the contract filler is gonna be $6,438 to $5,127. And then our apples themselves are gonna range anywhere Again, this is per 1,000 liters, $1,863 to 1,482. Now I've gone ahead and filled up these baskets and let's go ahead and make some apple juice. In order to do that, we're gonna to come to our apple press. We're gonna come around the back. We're gonna left click and we're gonna open the juice press. Let's just go ahead and do this to both. With the juice press now open and swung out of the way, we're gonna tip our basket into the press. And let me just finish this up by filling up both of these apple presses. With the apple press now full, we're gonna come around the back. We're gonna hit left click to close the juicer. We didn't quite fill this one up, but we'll just go ahead and do that process. And then we're going to turn on the juicer with R once we're standing in front. And we're going to see apple juice come out the front. So let's go ahead and get both of these jobs cranking away. Now we're going to need a way of transporting our apple juice. And we're going to do, be able to do that in multiple ways. Pretty much anything that is going to transport a liquid is going to be able to transport our apple juice. We're going to need something large, obviously, to take it down to the contract filler. So that would be something more like our LSFM universal tank. 
So here we have a small tank, and that is indeed going to hold our apple juice, which is located right there as it cycles back and forth. We're going to make use of something a little bit different. That's going to be here from the LSFM farm equipment pack. We're going to use the transport trolley and the barrel module. You see, it is set up to take apple juice as well. And I have placed both of these on here. I've already filled it with a little bit of apple juice from a run I had already done earlier. We're going to come up here to our bucket. We're going to hit R to fill. And now we have filled this with apple juice. We could then overload this onto a trailer. Or, if you're like me, you want to take this thing down here to our cider facility where we want to make a little bit more profit by turning this into apple cider. Now, when you do position this on the trolley, you make sure that the hose is back here by your handle. We're going to come over here to our left. And we're going to overload into our facility. We come around the back here. We're going to turn it on with R. We're going to left click in order to come to our production chain management. You see, we've got a little bit of apple juice, and I went ahead and filled this thing up with apple cider. That is going to be the bigger bottle with the little apple. Your apple cider is going to spawn in barrels. It'll be 250 liters per barrel. And from here, you're going to be able to transport your cider to its final destination in a cell point. Now, it's always good to give your tithe to the church. Although I'm not really sure if the church is going to benefit much from our donation of this cider. If you haven't delivered down here to the church, I think you'll about to figure out why. Oh, dude, seriously. Get control of yourself. Or maybe you'd rather just take it to the village shop instead. Totally didn't even see what I got as far as money for the cider sale at the church. But we'll pay more attention down here at the village shop. So 500 liters worth of cider. Twenty-four ninety and twenty-four ninety. Nice. So, guys, that is it. This is actually going to be the conclusion of our Hoff Bergman Explained video series. One point five update was the last planned update to Hoff Bergman. Now, there is going to be a special video coming in a week or two related to not an update to Hoff Bergman but a special add-on that Farmer Andy is putting together. I will be adding that to this explained playlist because it is going to be exclusive to the Hoff Bergman map. But then that is definitely going to conclude our coverage of Hoff Bergman in the explained series for Farming Simulator 22. I very well may likely be doing some live streams on Hoff Bergman in the coming weeks to a month. So keep an eye out for that as well. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below with respect to Hoff Bergman and the new features that have come in the 1.5 update. And until next time, happy farming.